Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciate you guys taking some time to watch the video and just a rainy Saturday afternoon here in Missouri and working on fish the moment lake map breakdowns. I wanted to do today's video real quick. Um, and the rain makes for a good topic of that. I want to give you guys some, just have, sort of have a little discussion here about um, what rain does to bass and some ways that you can catch fish in different types of rainy conditions. It's something that you're gonna deal with at some point or other if you're a bass fisherman. And rain, can it, it can create opportunities that don't exist um, when there's not any rain. Sometimes it can be negative, sometimes it can be positive based upon the technique that you're gonna choose. But basically, I wanna give you guys sort of a foundation and help you gain some understanding about what rain does to bass in a variety of conditions. So one of the first things you got to realize about rain, it has to do with, there's a lot of stuff surrounding rain. It has to do with the, the intensity of the rain. It has to do with if there's any wind with the rain. It has to do with the water temperature, the water visibility, the water level. There's a lot of variables to deciding what, how do you need to fish when it's raining. But so you got to start somewhere and sort of, I'm going to sort of give you a broad overview what to look for. For the most part, guys, you will find, unless the unless the water is really cold and dirty, you will find that rain makes the fish bite better, almost in any situation. And they bite, and the rain becomes even more of a factor to improve the fishing, the clearer and the warmer the water gets. So in my estimation, any time that you have warm water and clear water. And when I'm talking about warm water, I'm talking about say water temperatures over over 60 degrees. That can be some of the best fishing in the, in the world when you have that situation. Most of the time in clear water, uh, in warmer water, <clears throat> this is a really good opportunity <clears throat> for you to do some power fishing. Top waters work really good, spinner baits, any type of moving baits, um, big swim baits, that type of stuff. Usually it makes bass active and chasing and aggressive, um, especially if you got some wind with it. Now, the wind is really good in warmer, clearer water for those moving baits like spinner baits and crank baits and big swim baits, but it's better if you don't have much wind for a top water. Um, if it's raining and uh, you know the water is set up right for a top water, I don't like any wind at all because the rain will actually act as covered, same as the wind does for other certain situations. But guys, if it's if you have a chance to go bass fishing when it's where you're in a clear water environment, of, and I'm, when I'm saying clear water, I'm talking about water visibilities like over four foot, and it's uh, raining, take advantage of it because the fit, you're not going to find better conditions to fish in. Now, as the water temperature and the water clarity decrease, that's going to all it's it can still be good, but it's sort of going to change your techniques. Um, in the springtime of the year and the fall time of the year, when those water temperatures are usually, you know, say 50 to 65 degrees, that can also be some really good fishing. And in those situations, again, the moving baits work really good. Um, the fish tend to be really shallow then. So um, if you've got water visibilities of anywhere over two feet, which, you know, most lakes do, this is a really good time to get it right up on the bank and do some shallow cranking with square bills. Big spinner baits are really good that time of year. Buzz baits, big swim baits, all that type of stuff. Most of the time it makes them active again. And on the other end of the spectrum, as the water temperature gets colder and if the water temperature gets below 50 degrees, rain can still be okay if you're fishing really clear water, like over four foot of visibility. Like I catch a lot of fish here in Missouri in the wintertime, like Table Rock Lake, Bull Shoals Lake in the wintertime, if it's raining on jerk baits and crank baits and that type of stuff, it can activate them. But if you're in uh, cold water that's, that's stained, like under three foot visibility, rain tends to be a negative. It tends to, they tend to react better on the brighter days, that type of stuff. So that's sort of an overview. Now, a couple of different things about rain, guys. Here's another thing you're gonna find is it has to do with the how long it's been raining and how hard it's been raining. Because one thing you're gonna find, if you get one of those situations where you have a system move through and it rains for like three or four days in a row, nonstop, you know, on and off, that acts sort of as an opposite. Because after about two days, if you've had like two days worth of rain, 
those bass, and this is something a lot of people don't know, those bass will start moving more towards the bottom and they will not want to chase like they did when it first start, started getting rainy the first couple days. So a lot of times, <coughs> excuse me, if it's been <coughs> if it's been raining for an extended a period of time, this is when I like to go to the bottom, like football head jigs, casting a Texas rig worm, a shaky head, flipping and pitching. Some of my best pitching and flipping days ever has been on days where it's been cloudy for an extended period of time and you got thunderstorms and stuff like that. It'll tend to suck those fish to the bottom after it's been raining for a couple of days. And also the intensity of rain has a lot to do with it. One of the things you're gonna find out that the bass bite better on some type of a light to moderate rain. Once you get above a moderate uh, rainfall, like if you start getting into heavy downpours or hard rain, that type of stuff, especially if you have wind mixed with it, it actually is a negative too. The fish will not be near as aggressive on a hard rain, especially if you have wind with it, as it will with just say a nice steady, you know, just a little bit less than moderate, like a, just a light, not a mist, but just a rain, but just a nice rain. Um, that's the ideal situation. So anyway, guys, there's a lot to it. That's just some, that's just a broad foundation I wanted to give you guys. We'll talk a lot more about rain. I'll do some stuff on uh, the, the specific details and situations on rain, different lures at times, but just wanted to give you that broad, that broad overview right there. So hope you guys are doing good. Going to get back on the fish the moment, lake map breakdowns. Make sure you get you some guys, get on fish the I'll include the link in the description, get you some of these lake map breakdowns, put a lot of time into them. It's definitely going to give you some good spots. So we'll talk later.